record this. So if you're a little bearish to start the morning, this is one of the things you'd want for your confirmation or, hey, get up in your chair or, hey, take a shot, pick a price. And it's this. I didn't record it jump like this, but look at where my cursor is. This is the NASDAQ over here. It doesn't just rally. It rallies a good 20 points. And well, 12 points, but it rallies. It's not just how much it rallies. It's how quick it rallies. And then you go look over at the ES, which is over here. And it's not that the ES only went up one or two ticks. It didn't even go up at all. So it's like, hmm. What usually happens didn't happen. And that's where you'll always find your clues in trading. When what usually happens doesn't happen. That's what you're always looking for. So in a correlation, when you get an ancillary market like the NASDAQ to not only rally, but rally fast, and you don't get any kind of move up in the ES and you're an ES trader, you look for that as the confirmation to a bearish bias or to get the hell off your, your mouse if you're bullish. And then as we come in here, you could see waiting for longs to come in and they do, right? And that's what you'd want if you were looking to get short. And I actually draw it right there in the um, and on the chart. And then what also we said, and you see it here, I'm going to go slow. Do you see all the green lighting up as it goes down? Green lights up all the way down. Well, those are longs. And now that you're able to see this and you're able to see a really healthy sample size of longs and shorts, when a price is going down and it's hitting a bid, and those bids getting filled are for longs. In this case, they are when they light up green and the price continues through them. What do you think those longs are thinking? They're pretty pissed. Put yourself in the position when you've got a bid in the, in, in, on the dome and the price hits you and goes two ticks against you right away. I bet you're not happy. I bet you're not happy if you take immediate heat. So when the market's taking immediate heat and they're on the long side, well, longs we know are sellers. So that means the sellers are probably pretty pissed, pissed. And it's just a good indication that the uh, downside's the right side and there's going to be continued pressure on this market like there was all the way down. So keep that in mind. Number one, when there's an ancillary that usually trades in concert with each other and they don't. And then, you know, and Dave has on his lines, it was like the Russell takes off up and the NASDAQ doesn't. That's a really good indicator for him that the NASDAQ is weak and about to go down. So this was the same thing, but it was the NASDAQ jumping and the ES didn't. And you get this, uh, you know, downsides to the right side. And you see the longs get stuck and you start to go into your progression, so to speak. So correlations, be on top of them when something happens that um, is odd because it's opposite of what usually happens. And then number two, when you're able to spot and like we are now and see people getting long and stuck, long and stuck, long and stuck as price moves lower, that's good indication that the downside is the right side and there's some continuation. So keep yourself safe. And remember, either you're in our community or you're on our chart.